It is certainly a big day for a lot of people, but all eyes on the two NASA astronauts, Hurley and Bob Behnken, currently awaiting liftoff in the Dragon atop the 23-story tall rocket. And Lindsay, we saw them earlier today leaving the operations building that famous walk to huge applause from the assembled staff. And this is one of the traditions for launches here. But as soon as you saw those two astronauts come out, you noticed this was going to be much different. You noticed those spacesuits and those big smiles on both Bob and Doug's faces. They're called the dads by NASA. Both of them are dads. Both of them also married to astronauts, which is so cool. And then there was this moment right here where they actually got to see their families just before they took off to the rocket. As we mentioned earlier, Katie Coleman is with us, an astronaut. And Katie, you were telling me before the broadcast, this was unlike anything you've seen because astronauts could not get this close to their families just before launch. Well, it's, it's great to see that this is a tradition that is really changing. And it used to be back in the shuttle program, you would actually say goodbye to your kids under 16, you know, a week ahead of time. And the time, the last time you see them is the day before, waving across a big giant dick, ditch at the Kennedy Space Center. And so it's it's pretty neat to realize that, you know, they're, they're going to space and they get to say goodbye to their kids right then and there and almost take them with them. And you've talked about how launching is the most dangerous thing you do, but it's also the most thrilling. Try to convey the magic of this moment for us. I think as, as regular human beings, it's hard to believe that you could actually wake up in the morning, put on your long underwear under your spacesuit, a spacesuit, walk out through that same doorway that we just saw Doug and, and Bob stop in, and, and then be on your way to a launch pad, strap into a rocket, and be on your way to space. It just doesn't seem like something that would happen to real people, and I think most of us feel that way too, and yet that this day hopefully is going to end in a very different way, and they will be on their way to space. And Katie, so much of this is so new to all of us. You know, we see them there and, and, and they're sort of buckling into the Tesla before they take off to the rocket. And we also notice an incredible moment once they, they shut the doors of that Tesla, because as we mentioned earlier, both these astronauts, Doug and Bob, are married to other astronauts as well. And, and they're able to talk to their two sons. They have two young sons and they're old enough, you were telling me, to sort of understand the magnitude of this moment. We saw those virtual hugs and then now they sort of walk around there. You have Megan MacArthur and Karen Nimberg, uh, who's a retired astronaut. W what do you think is going through the minds of those wives right now in their heads? Wait, well, I, I'll say I think it's generous of them to share this moment with us. I mean, it's a, it's a private moment, and yet they're generous enough to let us see, too. And, and it makes us all realize that these are real people that are going. And, you know, I heard that sentiment talked about through th people from NASA, people from SpaceX. It wasn't about, you know, this demo to launch. It was, we're sending Bob and Doug into space. And Bob and Doug have families. Yes, NASA, of course, partnering with SpaceX here, and you definitely feel the X factor. You saw that when the astronauts walked out, and you saw that with the suits. There's Elon Musk right there. We can't ignore the mask, of course. This is a different time, and we'll get to all of that. But you, you take a look at these space suits. They were designed by a Hollywood costume designer. The team's checking them for any leaks and testing the communication systems. These suits were formed to their bodies, and founder Elon Musk meeting with the astronauts right there. And then moments ago, the men arriving at the launch pad and looking up at that rocket, is a bit, it is a big rocket, uh, but what a cool moment, taking the elevator to the top and then finally entering the Dragon space capsule. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.